Welcome to eCancer Television. We are in ECHO in Brussels and we are speaking to three very important people who have been planning the meeting in Stockholm, who have been at another meeting. We caught them on the way out and they're sitting here ready to excite you about this extraordinary meeting that's being planned uh, for later in the year. On my immediate left, uh, we have the uh, president of ECHO, uh, Michael Bauman. Yes. You're from? I'm a radiation oncologist from Dresden, Germany. And next to you, Jean-Charles Soria from Paris. Yes. What do you do? Uh, I'm a medical oncologist, uh, work at the Institut Gustave Roussy, and I sit uh, here as the uh, scientific co-chair of this meeting. Okay, and Peter? Uh, my name is Peter Nareli, I'm a surgeon from Sweden, and I'm sitting here as the president of the European Society of Surgical Oncology, one of the partners for this meeting. So we have three, a three-legged uh, stool here, uh, which sort of sums up the main branches of uh, management of, uh, uh, of oncology patients. And I think what's significant that you're here because, of course, the management of uh, patients with cancer nowadays is at least three-legged, if not five-legged. This is uh, a big uh, meeting for you, Michael. Yeah, definitely it is. It is a big multidisciplinary meeting bringing together basic science and clinical science. So it's a very important meeting. We expect more than 15,000 people in Stockholm discussing state of the art and the future of oncology. So that is a very big and important event. Berlin was big enough and oh, yeah. this is going to be even bigger. Yeah, we think so, it will. And of course the program is advanced. We know more than two years ago and we want to achieve more in the future. So we advance all the time. So. I'm not a scientist, why should I come? Because uh, the world of oncology is rapidly changing. One of the things we experience already every day in clinical practice is that we treat our patients in multidisciplinary teams. So there are not many patients in Europe who still get monodisciplinary treatment and we do it together as a team. So we need a place where we meet and exchange what can be done by surgery, what can be done by medical oncologists, what can be done by radiation oncologists, and for the future, very important, how can we involve basic science to take up clinical findings and bringing us back new ideas for translational research for better outcome in the future. So I work in a lung cancer multidisciplinary team and I'm not doing research and I'm not involved in protocols and you know, I'm ashamed of myself. Yes. But I'm going to learn something by going to this Absolutely, meeting. because there are great educational events and there are many state-of-the-art lectures and you might, if you get the taste of it, also pop in one of the more scientific sessions which really give you an idea of what the future is going to bring for your patients because all of us will face personalized medicine during their lifetime in medicine and so it's a good idea to look into what is this bringing us and what it is bringing to our patients. Political question. I've only allowed one big meeting a year from my hospital. Uh, ASCO or ECHO? No, ECHO. Why? Because ECHO is the meeting in the world who really brings together these different aspects and who has a great intermingling of basic science translational science and clinical science with educational event and it is a truly multidisciplinary meeting. So different societies in Europe who represent different techniques of treatment and different knowledge have worked together very hard to set up this program and I don't think you find any meeting in the world which can match that. Good. And you're going to interest me to get involved in science and clinical trials and so on. And you've put together a program, I've had a sneak look at it, and it's terrific. Uh, your co-chair is Anne uh, Boris and Dale. Um, what have you put into the mix to, to, to make it appealing to, uh, to people to come to this meeting in Stockholm? We have tried to really give it a twist uh, so everyone understands that uh, dealing with uh, cancer and its management needs to be based uh, in great part in biology. Uh, the disease is being uh, deciphered on the basis of molecular alterations and we need to make this uh, transparent to make it available for all uh, ongoing uh, practicing oncologists. Uh, new drug development is based on the molecular selection of targets, but this has implications way beyond uh, systemic therapy. This has implications for radiation therapy, and this will change uh, uh, the limits of what is surgically uh, possible or not. So uh, I think this is one of the great twists of this meeting. 
Uh, we'll come back to personalised medicine later because that's one of your real hot topics and you're a world expert in this area. But you have a, a, a concentrate on young oncologists too, from whatever branch, whichever leg of the stool they're, they're, they're coming to Stockholm on. What's the young oncology program looking like? Yes, I mean, we think it's extremely important that we have uh, young oncologists uh, coming to this meeting and we have given it some special twist, among which uh, the issues of pregnancy and cancer, which are usually not treated in many of the meetings. We are also dealing with what really kills the patient, which is the metastasis, the modern basis of the metastatic process, the epithelium is alchemical transition, the circulating tumor cells, uh, and uh, the relevance of uh, the molecular difference that could be between the primary tumor and the metastasis. Uh, we have a, speci a specific session with the Flims Alumni Club uh, regarding uh, how to foster the careers of young oncologists. Very important. Uh, Peter, surgeons, mm. they usually come to this meeting uh, or is it just the just a subset of scientifically interested surgeons who come to this meeting? Uh, good question. And I would say there are too few that has participated. We have a, a meeting every other year, which is a, a surgical oncology meeting. But uh, in fact, the, this European Multidisciplinary Cancer Conference had, has at least as much surgical content. But you don't, there's a, a surgical oncology track, but of the more than 30 tracks we have, you have the vast majority of surgical lectures, surgical impact in the multidisciplinary treatment. And for me, it's important that surgeons come because a sur surgeon doesn't treat a cancer patient by themselves anymore. We sit in a multidisciplinary environment. And if you really want to be updated, if, if you take, want to take part in the discussion of how you give a patient the best treatment, this is the right place to go to be updated and also meet people, participate in the discussion. So for me, this is the perfect meeting for a surgeon to go who sees cancer patients. Are young surgeons? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter whether they're plum uh, urologists, sorry, or they're lung cancer surgeons, or they are brain surgeons. You want to you want to get them all to come. For me, we're all surgical oncologists. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry about the plumbing. The, the uh, general that just slipped out. The general surgeon is dead. We are we are actually dealing with patients who have specific cancer diseases, and that's what we have to learn how to how to help them the best way. That's an interesting remark. General surgeons are dead. General radiation therapists are they dead as well? Well, uh, for high-end departments and treatments, for sure. Yeah. And, but there is a place also for general radiation oncologists, for example, in palliative care yeah. and into being the regional partner for patients who do not want to travel or who cannot travel for longer distances. Mm -hmm. We have a multidisciplinary teams working in our hospitals. And they do tend to be more and more site-specific. Yes. You have a breast cancer team and yes. you've got a kidney cancer team and, and, and in each of the teams one specialty will be more dominant than the other yeah. I suppose. Um, this is a meeting for all of those uh, specialists to come to? Yes and that is one of the unique features of the ECHO meeting. Yeah. 